All right, so now the standard deviation of the mass is going to be as follows. Mm, nope. Nope. Equal sign. Whenever we're trying to do a formula, we need that standard, I mean, we need that equal sign in there. So standard deviation of the sample. You know what, I'm going to go back. Just give a little bit. If it'll do it for me. So standard deviation, it estimates a standard deviation based on a sample, it ignores logical values and text in the sample. Beautiful. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that, and I'm just going to select the entire um, column A, hit my check mark. There we go. I'll use, so we have three significant figures. I'll do three significant figures, so I'll get rid of two decimal places. And next we'll have the range. So I'm going to go range. see range hmm that's interesting um, maybe it's under something different let me search this real quick Let's see if I can uh, no that's not how you search it I get rid of this hmm uh, okay how do I get back? Um, get rid of that. And so maybe I'll just go to formulas and let's see if we can find recent financial logical. They have all of these things. Let me see financial. I don't see anything with that. Uh, I guess this looks like a statistical. Let's see if we can find the range. Oh, Kurt, this Q is Q. Uh, I'm going to use that. Max, hmm, min, sweet. Hmm, but it's this one. Nope. So maybe we can't find the range of this one using these um, functions. Count is available. All right. Hmm. So what I could do if if there's a help menu on here, so with this little light bulb. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, for now. I'll just skip that one until I can figure that out. Uh, so we saw kurtosis, that's going to be equal to key, K, key, U. There it is. So returns the code. Okay, that's what it does. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this. And I'll select column A. And there we go. I'll go home and I'll just reduce the decimal places to three significant figures. Okay, so skewness, <laughs> let's see if we can find this. S, K, oh, there it is, let me see, skew. Returns the skewness of a distribution, a characterization of the degree of asymmetry of a distribution around its mean. We're going with that. A, I'll do that. So we have three significant figures there. Even though the zeros in front don't, they're not significant. The zeros behind uh, for are significant. So keep that in mind. And then we have our minimum. So the min is going to return the smallest number and a set of values ignores logical values and text. So we could easily find the range by doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and select min and select A and then max. I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, this is equal to M A X. So I'm going to select 
max returns the largest value in a set of values ignores the logical values in the text so let me select that a and you'll see that we have those two so the range is really equal to the maximum minus the minimum that might be why they don't have it in there and i am definitely going to do three significant figures so i'm going to add one circle i mean one zero to that uh, for the minimum i'll do the same thing Okay, and then we have our variance. So this is going to be equal to VAR. So here we go. We have variance. This available. This function is available for compatibility with the Excel 2007 and earlier. So we're going to go to the variance of the sample. That's VARS. Estimates the variance based on the sample. Ignores logical values. It's the same kind of deal. I'm just going to select that. Select A, and then this will give us our variance. And I am going to reduce this to three decimal places, okay? I'll stop right there in the next video. We're gonna go ahead